Perhaps I'll just look around a bit. A familiar face wouldn't be unwelcome. Curiouser and curiouser. Where is that rabbit? Trembling signals timidity. I'd smell trouble if I weren't shaking so. This is all vaguely reminiscent, but alien. A fine mess comes from chatting with a rabbit. My gosh, what was that? And what is that noise? If ignorance is bliss, I must be ecstatic. It seems one can't go home again. Perhaps the asylum wasn't so bad. How curious! How very curious! I keep saying you've seen worse at Rutledge's, but it's very little comfort. Wandering alone is worthless. I must act. Is this weird, or am I hallucinating? Weird and terrifying are definitely not the same. Curiosity can kill, I suppose, but apathy is lethal. A dream discarded dies hard. Wonderland. Where are you now? This is a most peculiar trip. You've gone quite mangy, cat, but your grins are comfort. Wonderland's become quite strange. How is one to find her way? Why does everyone here seem hostile or demented, for that matter? Reminds me of the asylum. Is there no joy here? I'm not afraid of her or her creatures. Never was really. You should stand up to them or her death, I suppose. Everyone seems completely dejected. Are things really as bad as all that? I shouldn't think so. I'm a person, and just now I wish to get very small, about this big. I shouldn't think so. I'm a girl, and just now I wish to get very small, about this big. Not twisted, small. I wish to become about this big, and if not, there may be more than one way to skin a cat, if you'll pardon the expression. Perhaps. Can you get me inside the fortress of doors to benefit from your wisdom? I wish to get very small. No bigger than a mouse. Do you know how I might do that? I have nothing of value. What must I do? I certainly hope he is not. I'm sure I'm very sorry for them, sir. Really, I am. But what about me getting small? What items exactly? He was a bit vague, but whether by design or from ignorance or out of fear, I don't know. There's a bit more to do than you suggested, don't you think? There's no lock, but it won't open. It's stuck. Mushrooms, poppies, sugar, and spice—all those things are very nice. When combined, the proper mixture makes a getting small elixir. Hmm. I don't really like sweets. I never cared for sports at school. I don't have to put on a pinny, do I? You're fortunate I passed by. Whenever we meet up, seems I also find a bit more trouble. Seen any jumbo grow about? In your own mind. What's all this then? Did someone die? Have you lost your family? Stop that wailing, won't you? Tragic, I'm sure, but I'm a bit pressed for time. Have you seen a rabbit? Well, he's very dear to me. I must find him. And where does that smushy layabout hang his hooker these days? Risk nothing, gain nothing. Then she must do it unwillingly. I'll teach her manners. I wouldn't like to swim in that ooze. Don't I know you? No, I've only my wits. I must see the Duchess. That's not right. Her head. I'm here to retrieve the turtle's shell. I won't leave without it. I'm not edible. I merely wanted to ask. I'll have the turtle's shell now, you disgusting ogre. I'll try to accommodate you. A simple thank you would have been nice. I've kept my part of the bargain, Turtle. I'm no bloody tourist. I'm not on holiday. Lucky me. What do you mean? You're the one who didn't wait. I have reasoned. I remember him well. Thin-skinned, ill-tempered, smokes too much, disagreeable smell. Why do I need him? Everyone I love dies violently, unnaturally. I'm cursed. Why go on? I'll just hurt others. But Rabbit never told me why. And now he's gone. I barely recognise this terrible place. What is it to me? Why must I suffer? What do you think I must do? I believe my arms are adequate. Indeed, I do. I wish I were hallucinating. What a horrible choice! Eat a toadstool or remain food for insects. I have one piece of the eye staff. Where are the others? Obscure allusions to chess are fine, but it troubles me that anonymous oracles know more of my business than I do. Such order in the midst of chaos makes me woozy and disoriented. I saw her captured. I'm sorry. As am I if I can't pass through this realm. I must collect the pieces to the Jabberwock's eye staff. I'm not really a player. What are the rules? Should I be grateful for the truth? A lie or two might have been more persuasive. A mere pawn is the best I can hope for. Despicable, grotesque, and smelly louts! I'll fill your bellies, all right. Spare me the platitude. Do you have any useful advice? I only take mine with friends. And you would know. I fear nothing. How? Tell me. What do you mean? Were you impolite at table? Did you slap your tea? Or talk while chewing? Confess your crime. Both are powerful, destructive, and indiscriminately cruel. 
But the typhoon doesn't mean to be. Oh, I beg your pardon. You are in real danger. Where is your host? Those two seem to barely comprehend their situation. For his tea? That's simply awful. Six o'clock, you say? Hmm. Perhaps six comes early today. Promise only what you're prepared to deliver. I am destined to battle the Red Queen. The outcome is uncertain. How shall we prepare for battle? It talks like I'm on holiday, Cat. Wandering about, having a bit of fun. The Oracle's an idiot. You bizarre creature! I was beginning to like you. I don't have the final piece of the staff. Without his eye, how can it be done? What good are you to me? I'm supposed to attack this ferocious creature, but I'm not even sure this is my fight. Save myself from death. Is that it? Is that why I've come here? I'm not afraid to die. At times I've welcomed death. What then? A fate worse than death. I'm not stupid. Don't make me think you are. What I've been feeling, I am beginning to understand. I broke this world, and only I can repair it. You and my dentist's assistant have much in common. That the best you can do? Hurl second-rate insults. They don't hurt. We were all asleep. It was an accident. I. No! Must I fight on? Can't the Red Queen be persuaded to surrender? I'm not sure I know how to lead. Who am I? Alice. 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 Gill at your service. Call me Larry or not. Ever did brandy? Then you have nothing. Wits are useless here. Everything is downside up. Impossible. She only sees those who don't wish to see her. She's perfect. She's supposed to be hiding from the Red Queen who wants her dead. That too ruins me. Own builds this monstrosity. She's mad as monkey mash and just as tasteless. Well, never mind. We'll all perish soon enough. Sure, you've no brandy, won't you? Indeed. Stick your thumb in her eye. What? Your devoted servant, Mum. I owe her a bad turn myself. Follow me. I'll have the leeches in to handle this mess. Everything. Pretend you're an orphan. <gasps> That was rude. You are. Work if you must. It's my nature to unwind from time to time. I've heard self-reliance is a virtue. Now, you've heard it. Observe, learn, and react. 
I suppose experience teaches best. Learn by doing, and similar cliches have merit. Take their advice. I'm busy. Haste makes waste, so I rarely hurry. But if a ferret were about to dart up my dress, I'd run. When the path is problematical, consider a leap of faith. Ride the wind. Hanging ropes are as good as step ladders to those who know how to use them. Scythes, hips, and the hangman's noose all do it. Why not you? Your knife is necessary, but not sufficient. Always collect what's useful. Reject only your ignorance, and you may survive. This simple game can turn distinctly nasty. Don't ever play alone. Fifty-two pickup is a staple of juvenile humor, but when the deck slices and dices, it's no laughing matter. Jack's a friend, but his temperament is explosive. Maybe best to let him play by himself. Withering cold incapacitates an enemy more completely than deep wounds, but winter does not last forever. Ah, the diabolical dice! A word of caution: don't throw them when you're alone. The fiends lack loyalty, and their notion of nourishment is quite disturbing. A blunderbuss in the hands of a blockhead is a catastrophe waiting to happen. You're not a thunderhead, but exercise great care. Launch this rocket against a distant target. Its white-hot energy does terrible damage. Here's a riddle: When is a croquet mallet like a billy club? I tell you, whenever you want it to be. Whoever says too much of a good thing is not enough speaks the truth. Whatever says too much of a good thing must be bad tells a lie. For every task, there's a proper tool. Sometimes more than one. This unique watch stops time for a time. Unlike death, time moves on. Those who stood still with time move on also, unless they're dead. The mask will not fool the water. But it will confound your enemies when you can swim and breathe like a reptile while wearing it. Noisy creatures, crooks, and assorted voyeurs would love to be invisible. For you, the option may be a matter of survival. What they can't see, they don't want to hear. You'll do better if you become corporeal. Those who say there's nothing like a nice cup of tea for calming the nerves never had real tea. It's like a syringe of adrenaline straight to the heart. Meta essence is the life force of Wonderland. That of your enemies is especially potent. Collect what you can. Use it wisely. How fine you look when dressed in rage! Your enemies are fortunate that your condition is not permanent, and you're lucky too. Red eyes suit so few. You're sufficiently fortified to kick some ass. You're sufficiently fortified to boot these creatures' nether regions. Threats, promises, and good intentions don't amount to action. Time to raise some havoc. The dogs of war are loose. You may have missed something. What's rubbish to one is salvation to another. Look, Alice. Though his elliptical essence is unrecognizable, it's wrong to think him worthless. Turtle's bubbles are like words to a prophet. His bubbles are to your survival what eyesight is to vision. Every adventure requires a first step. Try to put true even here. When the remarkable turns bizarre, reason turns rancid. What is sought is most often found if it is truly sought. Only a few find the way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. There's an ugly name for those who do things the hard way. The uninformed must improve their deficit or die. To the royal guards of this realm, we are all victims in waiting. Only the foolish believe suffering is just wages for being different. Only the savage regard the endurance of pain as the measure of worth. Only the insane equate pain with success. Tell yourself, I've seen worse at Rutledge's. Prevarication in this instance may help.
bit of an attitude, still curious and willing to learn, I hope, as knowing where you're going is preferable to being lost, ask. Rabbit knows a thing or two, and I myself don't need a weather vane to tell which way the wind blows. Let your need guide your behavior, suppress your instinct to lead, pursue Rabbit. Ignore the queen. For now, keep your eye on Rabbit. Rabbit's handy with a map. He's on the right road, and at present you're too big to follow. Doors have locks. Locks need keys which you don't have. Let's hope the doors are open. Most unpleasant metaphor. Please avoid it in future. The guards lack imagination. Don't play with them unless you're ready to deal. Protective walls may impede you, but the walls most difficult to penetrate are those that surround our hearts. Odds are, the next gnome will know something of value. That last idiot was nearly useless. The old rebel is a legend. Search the mines for him. Cling closely to the path, Alice. A fall will dash your head along with all our hopes. Inside the wall is not inside the fortress. The old gnome was short on details. The guards are tools of the queen. All suits are dolts, but Dangerous. Boojums have revolting manners. They'll eat anything, dispose of them, or become a meal. The proper order of things is often a mystery to me. You, too? That savage shriek is the mere tip of the iceberg that is the Boojums' repulsive personality. Best to shred these aggressive pests. This school serves more than nasty lunches. The laboratories are especially fascinating if you can stand the vile stench. Entering school requires a real leap of logic. Steps to enlightenment brighten the way, but the steps are steep. Take them one at a time. Countless generations of termites would only digest a mere fraction of the volumes here, and they wouldn't be one whit wiser. Treated like a Chinese box or a stubborn lid, a tap in the right spot might do the trick. You call that a tap? Fortunate I didn't suggest force. You might have pulverized it. Unplanted seeds dry out and die. Nature has ordained that certain seeds require assistance to fulfill their destiny. Gardeners store rat poison and weed killer in sheds. Schools have laboratories for that purpose. Drink the potion only when you're ready to follow Rabbit. Every picture tells a story. Sometimes we don't like the ending. Sometimes we don't understand it. Mushrooms, poppies, sugar and spice, all those things are very nice. When combined, the proper mixture makes a getting small elixir. Rabbit's anxiety pollutes his reasoning. He begs you back to this hellhole and then abandons you. Stop looking for good sense here. Settle for any. A rope and a net would be handy and a circus career. Your limbs and imagination will have to suffice. Take the high ground, then punish these pests. What a racket. Reminds me of your violin lessons. Plug that noisy orifice before we both go mad. The dim-witted are not ignorant. Follow turtle and find nobility of a sort. Go with the flow. Whatever floats will do. The leaves appear no worse for it. Is our situation not dismal? Wonderland is so discombobulated that ladybugs have turned belligerent and enlisted in the Queen's army. Punish their conversion. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, 
there's a distinct whiff of pepper on the wind. The Duchess must be nearby. Annihilate what threatens to destroy you. Don't lose him. He's not the brightest star in the galaxy, but he shines at one thing. No time for self-pity. Evade these savage soldiers and find Caterpillar. Even pebbles terrorize the tiny, but you must risk them. Caterpillar is waiting. If your stature were an illness, the centipede's medicine would make you well. This creature will make you wish you had arms to match his feet. Confidence and rashness are sides of a single coin. Please remember, you're about as big as a middling-sized garden slug. Until you find the magic mushroom, get used to it. I'm afraid I have to expel a rather ferocious hairball. You're on your own, girl. I've never trusted toadstools, but I suppose some must have their good points. It's rude to eat and run, but sometimes it's unavoidable. The Jabberwock's eye staff is incomparably powerful, but its individual pieces are worth less than the carcass of a gnat. The dimensions of this desolate tract are unknown to all but the inhabitants. Only one path will bring you to the end game. Flattering words often incite their object to rash action. Learn their true meaning. Since you know the moves best play with whites, they go first. Cats are colorblind, you know. Kaleidoscopes hold no interest for us. The regularity of the board disguises the predatory menace of certain pieces. Make your move toward the White Knight's castle. You know all the right moves. Use them. The White Queen awaits. You control her fate. Seek and ye shall find, they say, but they don't say what you'll find. Paths that end in trouble are all the same. They only appear different when you don't know where they lead. A reflection sometimes exposes more reality than the object it echoes. Don't get spun, whirled, twisted, gyrated, sloshed, or tossed. Avoid false moves. Though they never tire or complain, I should be surprised if those poor beasts hadn't had a belly full of organ music. Look straight ahead or askance. Whichever way you choose, you must always look in the right direction. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Use their size against them. Seek the scattered pieces of the eye star, Alice. I feel its power here. Each piece brings you closer to the end game, but alone each is worth less than a matchstick. Even I know not where the missing piece of the eye staff is concealed, but if a signet were secreted amidst evil and madness, I would expect to find it here. The staff lacks only the Jabberwock's eye. Though he has two, I understand he's quite fond of them both. I doubt time will change his mind. Speaking of which, where's the Hatter? Quick as Mercury and mad from it, among other things. He is obsessed with time. Find him or your own time may be short. These woods are familiar. The voice from the cliff, remember? Wonder if he's done a bunk by now. Confront what frightens or offends you. Reckless or insulting talk should never go unchallenged. Griffin's an ideal partner. Perhaps I'll just retreat for a nap. The Queen's Guardian rarely leaves his filthy lair. The vile creature is a killer, and even his words can wound. It's impolite to keep royalty waiting, but the price of good manners may be too high. This Queen's a real bitch. Find the queen. Ignore her pledge to decapitate intruders at your peril. The queen, the queen, my lower incisors for the queen. Where is that wretched creature? Look for the queen, but remember, she also has eyes for you. Ride the thermal drafts like a giant falcon. Turtle proved that being a reptile has advantages. Time to jump in, time to jump through time. I'm dizzy. A righteous guide is never snide. Take heart, take a ride, enjoy the slide. Without Griffin, our forces are leaderless, and a battle has begun. Deliver us from this evil, or let us perish. Defeat looms over your allies. Total ruin will consume us unless you destroy the Queen. End this carnage. Go to the castle. Keep you are our only hope for survival. Bravery and I are not on intimate terms. My natural curiosity is tempered with caution. Thus I've lived long. But now, ignoring my instinct to flee or fear, I speak the truth without regard to consequences. Your courage deserves no less. You've suffered great pain, and you've caused some. You've endured deep grief and feelings of guilt, but you will be tested by a more wrenching anguish, Alice. There is worse to come. You and this Red Queen cannot both survive. You are two parts of the same... <coughs> 
Bravery and I are not on intimate terms. My natural curiosity is tempered with caution. Thus I've lived long, but now, ignoring my instinct to flee or fear, I speak the truth without regard to consequence. Your courage deserves no less. You've suffered great pain, and you've caused some. You've endured deep grief and feelings of guilt, but you will be tested by a more wrenching anguish, Alice. There is worse to come. You and this Red Queen can... Cannot both survive. You are two parts of the same. <coughs> the queen is dead and gone. Well, at least she's gone for now. Long live Alice. Long live Wonderland. The Red Queen is gone, at least for now. Live long, Alice. Live long, Wonderland. <coughs> Pathetic and wretched excuse for warriors. Form a line. Bring the intruder to my den. I will punish her insolence and dispose of her. Ah, oh, Alice, you've returned. Why? Wonderland is severely damaged. You must set things right. That's why it's home. Well, it could be. Having lost what you loved, you nearly wipe us out. You've started to rebuild. Your task, however, and your pain are not over because your mind is fouled by self-deception. Even your fantasies have fragmented into tortured versions of themselves. You are racked with guilt because you survived, and you dread the prospect of a life alone. Destroy the Queen of Hearts. Wonderland and your entire world can become whole again. I need to rest now. You need to regain your human size. Grow up, Alice. Embrace the truth. Travel to the fungiferous forest now, and nibble from the mushroom of life. Take great care. The voracious centipede jealously guards it and rules over what you require to destroy the palace. Filled with malice is the daring work of noble Alice. An end game with the Red Queen is possible only after you crush her sentinel, the vile, fiercelicious, and vengeful Jabberwock. Without the staff that bears his name, destroying him is the hopeless work of a wasted life. Scattered throughout the world, when you have them all in hand, checkmate is possible. The pale royals may be of use. The time for action has arrived. You should not waste a day. No lame excuses do you contrive, nor tolerate delay. Like me or don't, but believe me, the Jabberwock must be eliminated now. Blow open the gates and confront the Queen. I don't know, but you must. The situation is urgent. It's no one else's, Alice. Only you can save yourself, not death. Think what you will, but know this: you withdrew from your world after the fire because you could not bear your terrible loss. When you answered Rabbit's call, you began to emerge from your tragedy. Stay on this path, Alice. Save yourself, and you will save Wonderland. You will restore us all. Go well, Alice. The Jabberwock waits. With Griffin as your partner, you have reason to hope for success. He's the strongest among us. Don't get chilled. Come closer, my little chick. 
Mmm, properly seasoned, you'd make a handsome dish. Not a full meal, certainly, but a light snack, I think. Speaking of axes, chop off her head. Over my dead body. <laughs>